Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the most important support and resistance levels to be aware of when we're trading Bitcoin over the next few days. So I hope that you really enjoy this video and once again we will continue with the pattern that we were going over in last night's live stream. What we were obviously looking at yesterday, and this was in the public live stream, we obviously had the descending triangle which broke to the downside. And I was uh, informing you about, we predicted it once again, <laughs> of basically in my, this was in the members update. So in my members update, I was saying how I was expecting this to move to the downside to give a fake out basically of the descending triangle before going back to the upside. But when you were watching last night's live stream, you will know that we were on about this rising wedge. So we obviously had the fake out as predicted to the downside of the descending triangle. But then we formed this rising wedge. And uh, well, it started to play out. OK, and this is where if you're not following me on Instagram, you want to make an account straight away and follow me over on Instagram, because this is where I'm giving urgent updates in the time. This is a Saturday night. Saturday night, I'm watching my film and I'm still giving you alerts of be careful of the bearish rising wedge on the Bitcoin chart. Watching Mudbound, I, I recommend the film. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> but coming back to the analysis, let me just draw on that rising wedge for you, ladies and gentlemen. And we can see how that did actually play out in the end. We obviously had our highs. We had bringing it up to the lows inside of this falling wedge, which obviously did drop to the downside. And now this is where you might be thinking to yourself, OK, we had the falling wedge play out, but why did we bounce here? Well, if you were paying attention to last night's live stream, you will know it was because of the point of control. This is the point of control support that I was giving yesterday. And we actually come down, tested that point of control to almost the dollar for another bounce to the upside. So this point of control is just like it's so powerful, so powerful. Uh, once again, giving a bounce, it not only gave the original buy entry for the fake out, it then actually gave a retest after you had the successful rising wedge. OK, so you had the let me just talk you through it one more time. Finally, here. obviously you had that descending triangle. We were looking for this to fake out to the downside before the rising price. We got the fake out of the downside only to form a rising wedge, which broke to the downside, tested the point of control and got another rise in price. So we're basically able to predict the original move down, the pattern that was then forming, which was a bearish pattern, which actually played out only to come down to our point of control support to get another increase in price. We're able to really just look at the charts, what's going on on the charts right now, and let's trade the current pattern that we have. Let's trade the current support and resistances. We're not out here making crazy predictions of Bitcoin going to 100K, Bitcoin going to, you know, 20K. We're, we're just literally trading what we have right now in the time. So this, can you see how this is how we're able to make money trading? We're not trading for these crazy predictions that might never even happen, but we're trading the most probable outcomes based on the patterns that we have right now that are actually actionable. They're actually actionable patterns. And this is how we're able to make money on the charts. So as we basically came down to that point of control there, I, I was still adding to my long positions. <laughs> I was fairly confident. Really, the, the simple reason for me is I had an invalidation. I knew, I knew where I was wrong on this trade. I knew where I was wrong on this trade. So as long as it's not invalidating me, I, I, I can add to my positions. I was adding on this move down here even. So that's where I was wrong. And because I never got invalidated, I was able to wake up to this position this morning, which my long is, is still in profit. And we had a, over a thousand dollar move to the upside. It's not like this guy is kind of saying here, you know, there was a little bit of, you know, there was a little bit of chop yesterday. But if you just remain to the plan, you know, the plan was actually not invalidated because we never took the low here. And uh, let me <laughs> just have to say this, by the way, that I know yesterday's live stream was a little bit of fun. We were having fun in that live stream. We really were. Uh, you know, we were with a little bit of the music a little bit of just, you know, it was a, it was a Saturday night. It was a Saturday night's live stream. I was just like, you know, I want to have a little bit of fun. I want to give people a little bit of analysis. Um, but, you know, it's, it's crazy because there were a lot of people like moaning, like stop, stop, ha stop having fun and just do TA, 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 TA. You know, you, how can you have fun? Oh my God. But we, we that was obviously like the 2%, the but the 98% of people enjoyed the live stream. We had fun on the live stream. And if you paid attention, I gave you the rising wedge 
which played out and also gave you the point of control which also played out so though we were having fun in the live stream the two bits of analysis that you wanted to pay attention to they actually both played out so i hope that <laughs> hope that you enjoyed that ladies and gentlemen but that's kind of what i'm looking at here we obviously had the fake out of the triangle to the rising wedge to the point of control and now then where's the next important support and resistance well for me we're currently at well the level that we rejected from is obviously our fibs so we're putting our fib from the high here down to the low you can see that we've come here into the 786 which is our current resistance then on the bitcoin chart that is coming in at thirty three thousand dollars as you can probably remember, uh, this was would have been a few days ago, I was giving $33,000 and $33,300 as those resistances. So they're obviously still in play. So we do have to acknowledge we still have $33,000 and $33,300 as resistance because we kind of broke them, but only temporarily and we've come back down. So they are still now resistance. So you might want to write this down potentially. So that $33,300 still resistance on the Bitcoin chart. And still for me, this support level of the point of control, really important support that's coming in obviously at 31,000, around $31,650. Um, you do actually have right now a potential another descending triangle, which is going to give you something along this line. So this is the next one that you can be looking for. That's your, that's your current descending triangle um, that you can be looking for uh, a trade on, I suppose. And if you want to know like the breakout targets of this, uh, that would give you a breakout of the upside to basically that 33,300. And if it broke to the downside, you'd be looking to retest the support at $32,000. Again, this is all internal. Right now, the altcoins are the, you know, kind of the place to be right now. So the altcoins are absolutely wonderful. Ethereum, absolutely lovely move off of that weekly. You're seeing, well, you're seeing Tezos with a little bit of a pullback, but Tezos, Link, EOS, Ethereum, they're, they're, the, they're kind of the really nice trades at the moment. And Bitcoin, Bitcoin has nice trades, don't get me wrong, but they're so much slower. You have to be really patient with the, with the Bitcoin trades, you know. One trade a day, you know, leave it. Don't, don't get chopped up. You know, you can easily get chopped up if you're trying to overtrade it. You know, you just got to keep calm, patient, relaxed. You know, and that, that's how you that's how you're going to fight all of this, this choppiness. You know, you just got to literally stay relaxed. You've got your plan. Well, hopefully you have a plan um you know you have your plan you stick to the plan until it gets invalidated you know so all of this choppiness that was happening you know i'm, I'm sticking to my plan and i woke up this morning a, a happy man i suppose um so yeah that, that's what i wanted to talk you through here uh if you want those urgent instagram updates then obviously you can follow me over on instagram uh the, the link will be in the description down below uh, what I will also say is that we have got a champions live stream tonight so if you're interested in the champions live stream this is where I'll go into my most professional content and I will be giving a perspective of the chart and how exactly I'm going to be looking to trade this over the next week. So I like to go over a swing trader's perspective of, OK, I actually want to take a, let's say, a long entry here, a stop loss here and a target here. So I'm going to be going into the charts, explaining the technical analysis and then coming out of the end of that technical analysis with a setup. So if you're interested in a setup given from myself, that's in the Champions live stream tonight. Obviously, if you want to do the educational side, all of the educational content, for example, how we are getting these patterns, how we are doing these Fibonacci levels, how we are doing these point of controls. Well, that's obviously all in the educational content on the website. That's for the contenders and the champions alike. So if you want to learn, we have also got that education for you. So that's currently how Bitcoin has traded, how I am still trading it right now. Um, I hope this has been insightful and helpful. A little bit of weekend fun that we've been having, uh, but I hope it's helped you nevertheless. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant Sunday and uh, maybe I'll catch you in the Champions live stream tonight for another live stream update. So cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.